Hey everybody, Scott Goldbaum with Fender Play here, and today I wanna to talk about five things that you should be doing in every practice session. This is for anyone who's just looking for a little bit more of a regimented practice session and some things to be mindful for, a good working framework when you sit down with your instrument and block some time before you really get into the nuts and bolts of playing. Okay, really quickly before we get started, I just wanna to talk to you about Fender Play if you haven't heard of it yet. Fender Play is the complete online learning package for guitar, bass, and ukulele. When you sign up, you get access to over 3,000 lessons that you can take on your own schedule and at your own pace. It's designed to make you a better player today, so check it out. Okay, so step one, when you sit down to practice, the first thing you wanna ask yourself is what is the goal? Every professional has an intent when we sit down with our instrument and are spending time practicing. What are you hoping to improve? It could be dexterity, you know, connecting the two hands. It could be building out your chord vocabulary. Maybe it's um, an exercise that gets you a little bit more comfortable with finger independence. What is the point of the time that you're blocking? And let that be your compass for the duration of your practice session. Now, step two, you wanna warm up. That could be stretching, moving your fingers and hands, making contact with the guitar, running exercises, scales, just start small. It could be as simple as just making contact with the fingers and the frets, moving up one fret at a time, crossing multiple strings, alternating your picking throughout. Just make it a point to warm up a little bit. The older I get, the more of a believer and a practitioner I am of warming up in anything. Now, step three, you wanna to practice to a metronome or a beat to make sure that whatever it is you're working on, you can play it in time. Too often I have students who get really excited and are just focusing on all the fret hand activity. But it's just as equally important, especially for us rhythm guitarists, to make sure that your strum hand is intact. It's, it's making, it's connecting to everything that you're putting together. And the best way to ensure that is to play with the metronome. Now when you're working out pieces, it may take a little bit of time before you're ready to really play it in time, but make sure you're blocking just as much time uh, to play it in time as you are to uh, get all this stuff right with your fretting hands. Just being cognizant of all that rhythm stuff, counting out loud goes a long way. So use the metronome. All right, step four. Too often when we're trying to work on a really long piece, when we get to a tricky part, we don't isolate that part. We just take it from the beginning of the song and try it again, the beginning of the song and we try it again. So I encourage you to try to find the trickiest part of a piece and extract it. If it's a challenging phrase or a bar or an entire section of work, work through it slowly on its own. Slowing things down or playing something, you know, with a real slow tempo with control creates even better internalization than just running through it all at once really fast. Sometimes it can feel kind of confrontational, looking at your hands, playing it at a slower tempo. So I encourage you to take something that you may be doing really well right now and practice that really slowly. Okay, step five. Take full advantage of technology at your fingertips. Record yourself. Listen back and evaluate yourself. The camera eye when it's on kind of begets that performance anxiety. And it's just, a, it's just a really great way to like practice playing in front of an audience. So you'll be able to record yourself and better yet, it's really incentivizing to be able to look back on all the progress you've made from your first recorded practice session to your most recent. So I hope these five tips are really helpful. You should check out Fender Play. It's the best online platform for learning guitar, bass, and ukulele. You can even start with our complete collection of warmups and use our practice mode feature with scrolling tabs to rehearse with the metronome at various speeds. So sign up for free for your free trial. Free, free, free. See you later. Bye.